All right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So, as again, the pattern continues where uh, when they engage in that sort of target that you did yesterday, come home, uh, call my son, um, you know, he's not answering his phone, all right? And again, i doing the spitting sound as I'm doing this video. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, anyhow. Um, so yeah, you know, I called uh, his mother, but as I called him earlier, she said he was in, he was in the bathroom. I said, well, when you get to the bathroom, tell him uh, to call me back, or I'm gonna call him uh, later. So still, it's not picking up his phone. Uh, this is what they they do. Also, yesterday I forgot to mention this too: is that uh, when he came home from school, uh, every time I he was on his computer and I just looked over at him, you know, he's my son. I look over at him sometimes and see what he's doing. Um, they will use the police sirens okay i mean it, it's it's ridiculous right but this is what they uh they are doing what they're engaging in um trying to send this the subliminal message about uh, uh my kids not being my kids and um you know to try to again cast doubt and, and a lot of issues and I, and I can see why a lot of men particularly back then uh say what they say sometimes they're like, well, that's not my kid. It's like, well, how do you know it's not your kid? Because she was sleeping around and she was doing all this stuff. Take a DNA test. Simple as that. Take a DNA test. You know, um, but these are the psychological manipulative tactics that they will use on us and the women too. You know, I mean, when you hear women they get upset, they'll tell the man, or oh, that's not your child anyway. You know, just out of anger. Like, who does that? Apparently, a lot of our, you know, in the black community, a lot of women do, right? So, you know, it's, we're conditioned to, to this functionality, this functional mindset. Why? Because they want us to continue to uh, create children that are highly dysfunctional, right? So they can never elevate. They can never uh, 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 have sense of pride of who they are. Right? And they will always be under the rulership of white supremacy. Or I should say white racism, I should say. White supremacy. White racism. Right? So we, we, we take away the confidence of our children by not teaching them self love. By, as they grow older and become young men and young women, they have no sense of who they are. But you know who knows who they are? It's a system of white racism that educate them. Because they educate them into the type of uh, adult who they want them to be, which is highly dysfunctional, right? Backwards thinking, hyper uh, sexual, right? And engaging in all sorts of dysfunctional negative behavior. So you gotta think about that. Right? Like I said, it's black men, we gotta step up. You know, don't 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 allow this system to we know that they've conditioned the minds of black women to a certain mindset. Okay? But we have to step up. And they're gonna be some pushback, particularly for my woman. We have to come and reclaim our community, uh, our family, and um, you know start teaching our children the truth the truth, right? I know sometimes some of these mothers can be very difficult. Yeah, but put your kids first. All right? Talk to you guys in the next video.